What's up, y'all? Mariah from MariahMagazine.com here, and honestly, I'm not going to give a super long intro here. This tutorial is really quick. It's really to the point. Just know that you are in the right place if you are looking for a tutorial that walks you through how to add users to your Google Search Console account, and I also break down like what those users' permissions mean. So let's just get into it. Okay, so the first thing that you wanna do is go ahead and open up Google Search Console. You can access Google Search Console by going to search.google.com slash search dash console, okay? So go ahead, go to that, and you will get hit with the overview screen like this. Now to add a user, we scroll down on the left-hand side and click settings, and then you should see users and permissions. So go ahead and click on that. Then you're gonna click on add user in the top right-hand corner, enter in their Google email address. So the user that you are giving access to Google Search Console has to have a Google email address. Okay, so go ahead and put that in there. And then you're able to choose what kind of permission you want to give the user. So if it's the owner of the Google, Google Search Console account, like the owner of the website, then obviously we want to give owner uh, permissions here. Or the other options are full. So full permission in Google Search Console allows the user to use all of the features, including the like disavow tools, submitting URLs, submitting sitemaps, handling manual action requests. Basically, if you're going to be hiring like an SEO person and they need access to your Google Search Console account, I would give them full access so they have access to all of the tools, all of the things that they need. Okay, so the other option here is restricted. So this grants the user access to all of the performance data. Okay, so this is basically the data of just like how your Google Search Console results are happening, your search queries, your click-through rate, that kind of performance data, but it restricts access to some of the tools within the account. So restricted access is really great for internal teams. Like if you need somebody to check in maybe on like your SEO results and things like that, but they don't need to go in and change anything or like mess with the sitemap or any manual actions, then you can just give them restricted permissions. So once you decide on the permissions, go ahead and click add, and then it will pop up right here. So you'll be able to see their name, their email address, and you can change the permissions once you granted them. And then if you wanted to revoke access or like, let's say that the SEO person is done working on the website, like your relationship has ended, whatever the case may be, you can click these little dots here and then you can click remove access and that will remove user from your Google Search Console account. So that's about it. That's it for today's tutorial. I told you it was a quick one, but really quick before you hop off this video, just give it a really quick thumbs up for me if you found it helpful. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on bell notifications, and I will see you in the next video.